What is going on everybody? It is Frank the Tank and today I'm coming at you with something different on my channel. So first off, I want to give a shout out to Dominic's Trains something. I can't remember your full channel name, but I know it's Dominic's Trains. Uh, he's the one I believe who commented uh, and gave me the idea to try this. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing Bowling by Jason Belmonte, but we're not just going to be playing the game. We're actually going to be doing a ball review. So um, at first, um, when I thought of this idea, I was kind of skeptical of the idea. Like I thought it was kind of a bit not so great, but then I, I was like... That's actually not a bad idea. I mean, we can't go to the lanes. They're all closed because of the stinking virus, right? So I figured, why not try to do bowling ball reviews on Bowling by Jason Belmonte? So what we're going to be reviewing is, I think you can see based on the title, we're going to try The Wild Streak, which I was going to try, but unfortunately they closed the lanes before I could even get the chance. So we're going to try it on this game. And um, this is a kind of this is pretty much going to be like just a test run, just to see how this goes and see if you guys like it or not. If you guys like it, then I can continue doing it, but just not, you know, every single time. I could do it here and there. And um, also, um, yeah, if you guys don't like it, then I won't do it anymore. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and let's get this thing started. So let's uh, take a look here at... Let's see, where is it? There it is, The Wild Streak. And uh, at the time this video is being made, uh, The Wild Streak has been out for maybe about two weeks now. So, um, yeah, taking a look, it's got uh, SureTrax S19 solid reactive cover stock. The weight block is a mutated rotary. Uh, product line HP3, I don't know what that means, but yeah, it's got pretty good hook on it. Its power and length isn't the greatest, but... Um, We'll see what we can do with it. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play three games like I do in real life, but I'm going to do this on three different patterns. So that's the beauty of this game. Unlike at the bowling alley, I can only play on one pattern. I could do this on a ton of different patterns. A lot of these are sports patterns but made by Kegel. So um, what we're going to do is um, we're going to play... Um, we're going to play the pro room since the uh, uh, oil patterns are random and I simply can't decide what oil pattern to play on. And also, uh, we're going to play on fast track. I know a lot of people don't like this one. I hardly see a lot of people play on this one. But I'm going to play on this one because, as you can see, random oil from Kegel Sport Navigation patterns. We want to do some of that. And then... Um, I guess uh, what we can do is we can try and play one on the invisible oil pattern just to up the just to really up the ante here and um, unfortunately for that one we have no idea what what we're going to be running into but uh, we're going to head we're going to go ahead and go into this and I will say uh, there is a chance that I may not be able to play this game normally because there has been some serious issue going on with the game where it would freeze and you can't uh, finish the game and you can't even quit out the game the only way to really get out of the game is to completely just exit the game so um, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and I think I already have it adjusted. So we're good. We're playing on Tower of Pisa or whatever you however you pronounce that. So let's see here And we begin with a terrible shot How beautiful All right, we're gonna go with this Again, that's a good one Covered it all. All right Off to a rocky start, but we we backed it up with a pretty good sphere, but from that I know now I need to either I'm gonna add a, I'm gonna stay in that spot 24th board, but I'm gonna add a little more axis tilt so the ball rolls later, and this guy gets a strike. Beautiful. All right, so we got some competition here. So we're gonna add a little bit more axis tilt. We're gonna add 20 degrees of axis tilt. Let's see here. Still not enough. Okay, I think maybe now I need to move more left. So we're gonna try and pick up the spare. And I think I just messed up. Ugh! I chopped on it. I'm not gonna bother making any excuses. I'm not gonna say, oh, this is my first time doing this. No. But I will say this is the first time I have to do this on video. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use that in, as an excuse, but this guy's got game. He's got two in a row. So, let's see, we'll go to 27. Good shot. Leaving the 10 pin. Good 
Oh, 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 skinny oh, jeans God. fit just right. I just went to the store and picked up the skinniest jeans possible. Look at that, literally right on the edge. I think I'm going to lose this match. He's got three in a row already. That, I think... Yeah, look at that. Sorry, mate. Whatever. Alright, so... We're going to go to 20... No, we're going to go to 30 this time. Oh! Okay! I didn't even hit the pocket. I'm pretty sure I didn't. It went more through the nose, but I got lucky somehow. He didn't strike this time and I don't understand why it's not showing his shot like that's another glitch that this thing has sometimes it shows you the opponents uh, what they're doing and sometimes it doesn't you know with this one obviously as you can see it's not showing what they're doing so let's see we'll continue to stay on 30 that's better that is so much better all right, so... I don't know if that messenger would have taken out that 10, but I think that was the 6 that probably hit the side, went over, hit the sidewall, and then knocked over the 10, but I couldn't really tell. They gotta fix these replays. All right, so... Uh-oh. Almost caught a split, but I still gotta pick up that 10. Good, all right, we got it, we got it. We're good. But we're still down by 42 pins. So the wild streak seems like it has a fair bit amount of hook to it, but um, I don't know why on this pattern. I mean, it seems like it's pretty long, but oh, he's using the, the IQ Tour edition. Now we know, that's him. All right, so why are you saying good game? Like, we're not even done yet, man. Almost the same spot. And a 7-10 split. Whatever. You know, every time you have the 7-10 and you just launch the ball down the lane, you always have that hope that maybe, just maybe, the 7 of the 10, whichever one you go for, you just have that hope that maybe it'll bounce and hit the other one. But man, I've definitely lost this one by a lot. I've been like completely battered all over the world. Alright, so I think we're gonna stay there. That's bad. Why? Come on. So I think it's pretty clear that this ball, I don't think it's for this pattern. I mean, you see how hard it, it, it is to try to get a strike on this pattern? And I have to play that deep. I have to play on the 30th board. Even if I add more axis till, it's, it's still, you know. Right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add less axis rotation and then I'm gonna move to 27 that's not bad what the hell oh my goodness all right no need to apologize to me mate if anything this game should be apologizing to me that is so lame. Look at this! This guy's on route to a 279. Alright, I'm gonna restore the ball and see what happens now. Not bad. There it is! Wow! Got another one. What? Well, it's not like it even matters. Oh, that's so bad. 189. 
Not bad for, uh, for first time on camera, I guess. I mean, one open in the second and a split, I believe that was in the, the seventh. But man, this guy. And there goes that 279. Using the pitch black to pick up his spare, not bad. He can max out for 257, 256. He was off by one. You can tell he just didn't care there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to play game two on some random Kegel or oil pattern. And we're going up against Timothy Ray. Based on his stats, I'm not, I'm not going to judge based on the stats. You never know. This guy, even though despite the stats are pretty low, he could secretly probably be one of the best. So we're going to see. Wow. One, two, four, seven, I believe that is. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, so we're going to use this again. What the hell is this? I've never seen a pattern like this before. We're just going to take a guess. Go to 27. Oh, that was almost pretty close. All right. So I know I need, now I know from that I need to move. Either, I need to stay there and go a little more wider or let's see here. Whoa, that spare ball kind of, if the pattern would have been longer, I guarantee you that spare ball probably would have made it into that spot that I was going for. Oh well, he's ahead by one as a result. So he's using an all road and if you guys want me to review the all road on this, I can. I'm sorry, I didn't buy it and unfortunately they're not offering it anymore. So yeah, oh well. All right, so. I think we're going to go a bit deeper. We're going to go to 29. Terrible. All right, we're just going to go straight. That's how you pick up that. I was, I was a little worried there. Let me see. Like, I swear, the, the, ball, the spare ball just looks just a pinch because of this. So picking up a 10 might be a little more difficult. Use the one, the three, and the six. And attempts it horribly. See, that's where a spare ball comes into play instead of the pitch black. All right, so we're gonna try 26. That's terrible. Almost went Brooklyn. All right, so I'm gonna still attempt it just to see Okay, we're, we're good. Okay, at least I know I can pick up the 10 from there and not have to worry about adjusting because my worry, because you can see there's nothing there and the pattern is a lot, a little bit shorter than you would expect other pa like from other patterns. So, um, like for example, when I was trying to pick up that split, you saw that spare ball, it should have held, but because it's so dry right there, it moved over just a little bit. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from that spot again but, no, actually, no, I'm gonna play deep like I was, but I'm, I added a little more axis rotation, I think that's what it's called. We found it, we found it. But the tough part is going to be trying to repeat that shot. So, not bad though, that one went pretty flush. Uh-oh, through the nose, three, six, nine, ten. Good luck trying to pick that up. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! Applause, applause. You know what, no. I'll, I'll, I'll give him that. Nice shot. Because this pattern seems rather tough. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna restore it now, even though it doesn't really mean much too. Oh, that's so bad! I left the bucket, but on that side. Okay, let's see. Oh dear God. You know, if the pattern had been longer, I don't think that would have, I don't think I would have converted that. But luckily you saw it, it the, the spare ball just moved over just a little bit. 
610. Let's see if he can pick it up. Oh, oh, oh! I thought it was gonna hold. All right, here we go. All right, let's see if I can pick this up. That might not work. Ah! Not enough. Okay, so he's behind by 33. And I better try my best to either make that gap higher or to at least try to maintain it from there. And I'm surprised that the game isn't freezing. I've been suffering that problem a lot lately. Alright. One of the easiest to pick up, I guess. Oh, not again. Unbelievable. Alright. Picking it up like the way I would pick it up in real life right there. I'm not sure if, if you guys have been watching my videos a, a lot and you know how I pick up my spares, you'll know that's how I do it. But that was a little bit tricky because you can see, obviously, if I don't went for the try, that ball would have probably gone over to the left and missed the nine. And he took a different approach to it, but he still got it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What can I do? What can I do? Alright, so we're getting close to the very end here. And now uh, he's only behind by 19 pins as a result of that. So let's see what he does. And of course, he strikes now. Oh, freaking course. Alright, we're gonna go to just 29 here. That's good. I'm getting so robbed. There we go. Picking up the eight like it's easier than Sunday morning. Cause I don't know about you guys, Sunday mornings are usually like my lazy days, so it's not easy for me. But this guy is just going hard today. Suddenly, he's like, oh. Rejuvenated in the very last part of the game. Look at that. Strike, strike, spare. My goodness. Alright, so I guess he's given me something to do here for the 10th. Oh. Done. That's game set, folks. Now all I gotta do is just not gutter this. We win. Leave the 10, but I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. So that's 156. That's kind of pathetic, but we win. So now we move on to our last set here. So I guess maybe what we're going to do is go to the pro room again and see what it gives us. Fully prepared to lose another set of, uh, what is it, 50 coins, I think? Gage Turner, and he's pr pretty good in his last 10 games. His win percentage is pretty good, and that's not what I want. There we go. I'm going to restore the ball so it's good and ready to go again. And we're playing on Sphinx. I love this pattern. I think I got this one on lockdown, so we're going to go to 28 just to see. Great ball. Okay, that, that was close. So we know now from that that we just need to move just a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and pick this up. And there we go. All right, so we start off with a spare. So I think I, think I was on a board 28, if I'm not mistaken. So I think what we're gonna do is move to board 30. That might be a little much, but hey. 
Okay, we're gonna try 30. That might be a little much. And I left the 10. And I messed up. Frank, are you stupid or something? Uh, why why am I suddenly getting getting matched up against people who are like really good off camera? I get matched against people who stink All right, I'm gonna add a little more axis rotation go to 30 That is terrible Of course I hit that perfectly, but of course that had to happen. Look at that. Oh, brother. And gets robbed, leaves the seven. Will he pick it up? Of course. Oh no, he didn't. He whiffed on it. Wow. Great shot. There it is. 30 board had to, just had to add a little more axis rotation to it. And see that? All the pins just got... Whew. That's how you know it was good. Alright. Well, at least I know with this ball, I'm having to play really, really deep. But then again, I know I could just like decrease the axis rotation and the, the axis tilt. But I don't roll that way. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We're good. Back to back jacks. Alright. See, another great shot. I don't think I repeated it precisely like the last one, but close enough. Ooh, gets left with a split. What was it? The 8 and the 10. That's not easy to pick up. Like, to get that, you have to, like, skim that, uh... 8 pin just perfectly to get it to slide over. Alright. Oh dear god! Triple! Alright, cable, internet, and phone. All for one low monthly rate right there. Alright, triple play. I don't think I got that yet on camera, but now we do. That's a first. And now this kid is starting to fumble. He picks up his spare. Okay. I'm tempted to go to board 29 now, but I think we're still okay. No! God dang it, man. Alright. I got this. I did this with the fever pitch on camera. Or in the fever pitch video. I did this with that crappy house ball. The only difference is, uh, it's not really the super washout, it's missing a pin, but... Oh! And they say this is real life, this is just the most realistic. If that were realistic, the, the ball would have, like, rebounded over and hit the six. I'm thinking maybe it's because I went about it that way and I should have gone, like, from the left side and, like, you know, crossed the lane like if I were going for the ten. Man, that's lame. Alright. We're gonna go to board 29 now, because I think we've lost a significant amount here of uh, performance on the ball. That's terrible. Come back. And of course I get the... Sorry you had to see that. This is part of the reason why I don't play video games that much anymore. Because I am prone to raging, like, real easily. And of course, he capitalizes on the opportunity. Oh, that's not good. Oh, of course. Alright. So, we can't... I don't think we could do this with the spare ball, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try picking it up with the pitch black. Uh-oh. We're good, we're good. Where the pitch black comes in handy sometimes. 
Like for example, when I need to pick up the three, six, nine, ten, I use the pitch black for that. I never use the spare ball. And I think it's safe to say that this kid has probably won it. Again, another crappy shot. But we went Brooklyn. Ah, oh, brother. I gotta get this kid something to do in the tent. That's a good shot. Okay, come on. We can do this. But I think this kid's already got it locked up. I mean, he's got... He's got back-to-back -back jacks, but... Gotta give him something to do, right? 177. He can max out for 201. And I think he probably just needs like a mark. I'm not sure. I don't know how to max. Oh, he got it. That's it. It's over. That's 171 right there. 181. Just add more salt to the wound, why don't you? There you go. 200 to 177. Alright, so I think uh, we, all right, we played three, we lost two, and we won one. So the pro room is, is no joke. At least we know that now. So I lost quite a bit amount of coins using this crappy wild streak. Um, I'm not going to lie, part of those shots were my fault, but that is the wild streak. So if you haven't gotten it yet and you want to know what it's like beforehand, there you go. So um, yeah, uh, if you that was bowling by Jason Belmonte. That was the wild streak. That was me uh, trying my hand at trying to make a ball review on this game. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see more of this. If you do, like I said, I'll continue to do it, since, especially because we're under uh, lockdown right now. So, um, yeah, but if you guys don't like it, please let me know too, because I don't want to be wasting my time doing something, uh, you know, that you guys don't enjoy. And also, it would be a waste of my time if you guys don't enjoy it. So anyway, uh, this is Frank the Tank. I'll see you guys in another one, possibly. Peace.